Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. Um, as part of this video, under HDP Certified Developer Curriculum, under Data Analysis Module, I will be talking about sorting the output of a pig relation. Okay. So, to get the syntax about the uh, operator called order by, you can click on this link. It's pretty straightforward. Order, alias is the relation name, and by, it, uh, you can uh, give star or ascending or descending. By default, it's ascending, and uh, you can give the alias names also for the uh, fields and then specify ascending or descending. Uh, and then, parallel to in increase the number of reducers, which we will see as part of uh, 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 another uh, learning objective which covers uh, parallel in detail. Uh, for now, you can, if you want to just increase the number of reducers, even if you don't understand about parallel completely, just use parallel and use number of uh, reducers you want. It is typically used to increase the number of reduced tasks. And then, uh, uh, let's uh, uh, quickly uh, run the program. It's very, very straightforward. Uh, typically, you do order by uh, as the final operation after loading the data, you perform all the transformations using filter for each uh, uh, and all those things, group by, etc. Uh, and finally, you will actually uh, perform the order by. Okay. So, in this case, for this example, I will use the data set which is in uh, HDFS. as well as hive table. So, already we have created a database called pig underscore demo and we have copied data from retail underscore db uh, into uh, pig underscore uh, uh, demo database. Um, we have tables also for the, uh, each of the tables in retail underscore db in pig underscore demo. So, use pig underscore demo, hit enter and show tables. You can see there are six tables here. Categories, customers, departments, orders, orders, uh, order items, products, etc. So, for this demonstration, I will use categories. So, first we have to load the data into the um, uh, relation. So, I am using categories as the relation name. And I will be load, you can either use uh, uh, without schema or with schema or uh, 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 even. Uh, uh, hive schema, either of the approaches you can use uh, uh, to perform the uh, order by operation. So, first I will do without schema and then I will go with hive. I will use two approaches because with schema and hive there are not many differences. So, load user uh, root. So, we have another copy of data under this uh, scoop import database which we ha have actually copied as part of scoop import demonstration. And then uh, there is a table called categories, a directory called categories there. And data is the uh, comma delimited. So, using we have to give the pig storage because it is a text data and uh, comma is the separator and hit enter. And now if you describe categories, it will say that there is no schema for this table. So, we have to use only positional notation to do the order by. So, to understand what is there in categories, let us describe categories in uh, uh, Hive database. There is a category ID, category department ID and category name. So, let us say we want to sort by category department ID uh, in the table. So, what you have to do is here, so it is a second field in the table. So, you can say categories ordered by department id okay equal to order it's very simple the relation which you want to order in this case categories by the position of the field which on using which we want to order which is nothing but the dollar one because the positional notation starts with dollar zero for the first for the first field in pig in this case we want to use the second field which is category department ID and uh, hit enter. Okay. Now, you can actually describe 
or yeah you can actually describe categories ordered by department id and still it says unknown and uh, also you can say explain categories ordered by department id you can you will get the explain plan and uh, you can see that it uses two map reducers uh, here uh, 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 this is the plan for one job and this is the plan for second job don't worry if you don't understand but remember that whenever you use order by it will at least submit two map reduce jobs even for the simplest uh, order by uh, operation we will try to understand the explain plans in detail towards the end of the course not now okay but for now just understand that it actually invoke two map reduce jobs for order by operation and now you can actually dump categories ordered by department id and hit enter now you can see that one job is compl completed and now it has started a second job and also you can go to the uh, resource manager web interface and you can refresh it here and uh, these two are the jobs which have ran for this uh, uh, pig script to order by uh, uh, to order categories by category department id now you can see that data is properly ordered based upon the second column which is category department id okay so we have used uh, uh, relation without schema and then we have used positional notation to do the sorting same thing you can do with uh, 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 the relations with schema also to demonstrate that i will be using the same load command but in this case i will be using uh, hcat loader uh, to actually uh, load the hive table itself uh, so we have a, a database name called pig underscore demo dot table name is categories using here i have to specify the hcat loader fully classified constructor path org dot apache dot hive dot hcat log dot pig dot hcat loader hit enter okay now you can uh, say uh, categories ordered by department id uh, when you have uh, relations with schema you can either use uh, a positional notation or name notation in this case i will be using name notation but dollar one also will work without any issues okay and the dollar one is uh, category department id and hit enter you can describe categories ordered by department id and uh, you can uh, now dump earlier it did not give schema because there is no schema on the original uh, uh, relation so un until it run it don't know the uh, uh, schema because uh, we are processing it uh, without the schema and then dump again it will run two jobs you can run explain plan also on the on it uh, to give the results and let's see the explain plan once it is executed so now you can see the results properly ordered by the uh, categories department id and uh, you can also say explain categories ordered by department id again you can see the plan is almost same so there is a 550 and then there is 535 so it is one map reduce node and this is another map reduce node which it uses to process the data if it is global sort i think uh, uh, it will uh, uh, work in a different manner we will see those things later okay and uh, now if you want to sort this data by descending order instead of ascending order you can just say desc here and hit enter and then if you dump it it will sort the data in descending order so it's very simple to order uh, sorting is very simple you just you have to use order by operation and uh, you have to give the uh, relation name after order and then by 
and then the expression using which you want to order and then you have to specify whether you want to order ascending or descending. Now you can see that data is sorted in descending order. Okay, Very straightforward. So that's it about sorting. Uh, we will see the details about explain plan and all those things later. As I mentioned to you earlier, uh, sorting takes at least two MapReduce jobs to uh, to perform the uh, operation um, using uh, order by uh, and to uh, interpret the explain plan and uh, understand it we will cover as part of the performance tuning that is not very relevant for HDP CD certification but still I will cover later that being said I hope uh, you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to ask any questions, please go to Stack Overflow and rise with the appropriate tags. If you want to further discuss on certifications, please, uh, Hadoop certifications, please join my LinkedIn group called ITVersity Hadoop certifications. And finally, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.